what is going on guys it is arx guns and man can they just give these guns a short name um i introduced you today the rock island armories ultra tac fshc 9 mil a tool dual stack 1911 i go ahead and call it short for the hybrid 2011 uh, but yeah man let's get into this review so i have had my eye on this gun for a long time this is going to be the most affordable way to get to get, get yourself into a somewhat technical 2011 um like i said this is actually a dual stack 1911 um it comes with 17 rounds from factory i did add taylor freelance base plates to the factory mag um which I'll get into that further um, into the video. But yeah, man, this thing, dude, this slide, I mean, butter, 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 irrackable butter. Um, yeah, this slide is absolutely butter. Um, it felt absolutely amazing in the range. Um, super quick gun. Uh, can't wait to tell you more, uh, more about it. Let's go ahead and dive into it and take a further look into this gun. Rock Island Armory, it is a Philippine-based, um, known 1911 manufacturer who has been making um, affordable 1911s for quite some time. And, you know, sometimes uh, Rock Island doesn't get the best rep uh, as it's like a 1911 overseas and things like that. It's not American-made, but they are actually have been making great 1911s for a while now. And uh, now they have been producing these dual-stack uh, 1911s coming in 9 mil, 10 mil, 45. I mean, all kinds of rounds, and they're becoming popular with uh, threaded barrels, non-threaded barrels, shorter versions. And um, man, they are doing really well. If you try to find one of these in stock, especially in 9 mil, you can't. Very, very hard to find. I got super lucky to find this um, at the store the way that I did. This was a really lucky find. Um, man let's say uh where can i get into it uh i did actually um manage to get that offer there i don't like white on such a black gun like that and i used uh just to give you ideas you can actually use it on your optics uh, <clears throat> it's this right here aluminum black you can use it on uh optics as well like the 43x if i hit that out on the hollow sun yeah great product but yeah i got that to come off and now it looks uh a little more all black which i prefer the look um this came with one magazine which is one of the big bummers it came with one mag from theirs which is the 9 mil and 22 tcm and um i did before i added the base plate it was locking back when i added the taylor freelance base plates it is no longer locking back there's no lock back with this one but i did order a metcar mag which is one of the mp p80 mags right there i don't know if you can read that where it says p80 or p18 excuse me and this one actually works amazing and i also works the taylor freelance base plates and guess what on this one it locks back so yeah i might just be going the direction of these magazines moving forward um as they lock back and function better than the factory ones with the taylor uh, uh taylor freelance base plates which is what i'm technically running on this right now um but yeah absolutely amazing gun the trigger on this it's buttery smooth. I mean, feels great. This feels like a four or five pound trigger pull. Let me get you the, so this is the wall right there. Buttery. Reset. Amazing. Amazing, man. Uh, what an amazing firearm. Like I said, this slide racks so smooth. It is unreal. Um, this thing is a massive grip, by the way. This was a pretty big magwell, but this grip is huge. When you compare this grip to like, <laughs> look at the 43X, it doesn't look like it from this angle, but this grip is massive. Um, when you compare to like the CZ Shadow 2, hold up. That's the Shadow 2 compared to this one. Um, let's say the, uh, Staccato. Man, even the staccato is looking a little thinner on this one. But it is a massive, massive grip. So the irons on these are not bad at all. I wanted to black those out, but my wife likes it. 
The fiber in the front is not as bright as I'd like it to be. I will replace the fiber. I will replace these all around in general. I might even get this optic cut in the future, um, but I'm not quite sure yet. I'm gonna definitely add a little bit of sandpaper right here to uh, give it a little more grip. But yeah, absolutely amazing firearm. I had no failures of any kind. Um, the magazine that was locking back always locked back. The, uh, the factory one did not. Um, absolutely great shooter, man. Um, if you really are tight on a budget, um, man, shop around online. Sometimes you'll find it online in stock and you'll have it shipped to your FFL. But you will not regret it. This is an absolutely amazing firearm teamed up with the Taylor Freelance. And those P18 mags, what a looker. Yeah, man, let me know if you guys have any questions. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So, what did I think of this gun? I think it is amazing. I picked this up for $750 without taxes. Um, that is an absolute steal. Do not let anybody tell you otherwise. This will compete in the right hands with the right person shooting this in another tie-in gun could probably perform really well and at times do it better with this one than the other one. Um, this thing is no slouch. It is a very, very fast gun. Um, I was able to do some really fast shots through it. I was able to do some really quick reloads with that giant mag. Well, it has to it. And um, not disappointed at all. Definitely one of my favorite purchases ever. Um, I will say that with the one mag that it comes with, these are super hard to find in stock, almost impossible, which is why you're going to have to go with these uh, Medgar P18 mags. And it's fine because uh, they actually work better and they're affordable. I picked this up for, I think it was $30, $30 $32, $35, something like that. So super cheap. The Taylor Freelance base plates are a little more pricey. Um, I can't remember what heck I paid. I think it was like $35, $40, something like that, $45 maybe. Um, but I, they were worth it. They work amazing. Um, but yeah, pick up some of these mags if you pick one of this up because you're only going to have one. So I picked one up to try it out. I just want to make sure it worked well and it worked flawless. So now I'm going to pick up just two more and that'll be it for this one right here. Um, but man, absolutely amazing firearm. Um, it fired great. Uh, if you find it and if you find it at the store, um, don't hesitate, man. Go pick it up, put it on layaway um, if you can, of course. Um, but yeah, if you're if you just see it and you're thinking about getting it and you have it and you're just not really sure man Jump on it. You won't regret it. This is an absolutely amazing gun um, But yeah, let's not uh, say no more. I'll let you guys enjoy your day and yeah, stay safe out there